So I decided to do a quick video here just to kind of highlight a couple of things that are uh, that are going on here. I got the siding going up on this side of the house. Um, I am putting the siding on before I have any external vents just because it'll be easier for me. Uh, I have a limited skill set so I'd rather punch holes through the siding and caulk around it than try to cut more holes around it. The reason I say that is because this thing right here has shown me what a bear cutting around circular objects can be. Um, this uh, this may look good from a distance and it may not, I don't know, what, you know depending on how skillful you are, but um, this was pretty, uh, pretty difficult for me to do around the uh, wheel wells. So basically what I did was, uh, and there's going to be a link down below in the, uh, in the comments of a great tutorial on how to do this, but I started off with J-Channel all around and I cut the J-Channel around the wheel wells and then I uh, used some templates, you can see down here, to try to shape those. And basically, my only real advice to this is cut off less than you need and just keep going and going if you're less skillful. If you're really skillful at this and you don't need this tutorial and you can totally measure out you know, the radius and the, the angle of the uh, curve, I am not. So I had to use templates like these. And using those templates, I would shave off a little bit here, a little bit more, a little bit more until I got it just right. The difficult part beyond that was that you have two sides here that are independent of one another and you have to make sure that they line up so that the second row right up here lines up on top of it. Um, that wasn't terribly difficult, basically it just required me to kind of uh, redo the J channel on this side once I realized that I had a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue with the, um, with the siding kind of being a little bit off. So uh, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, the plan is for this to be white trim all around. It's a little bit of a gray siding. Those windows right there, all that wood's gonna be painted black after I caulk around it. And then the roof, of course, is going to be painted either white or gray with white trim. And that's what I'm doing today.